Well, and thanks for staying with us. Time to address your queries on uh, tracking trends with me, Nikunj Talmi. Our first query we want to take is essentially on MCX. 69 shares of MCX, 32.49. Should I buy, hold, or sell? This one has come from Ivoni. Thank you for your query. But this up, MCX is like a monopoly business. It's a business which is almost like a toll bridge. If you want to buy or sell commodities or win hedge, you will have to pay exchange. One is the exchanges, two is the brokers, three is AMC, four is insurance, and fifth is asset management. All these five will ride their way because volumes are huge. Yesterday, the MCX had a record turnover. And I think at 17, 1800, it was the cheap about four or five months back. It has almost doubled from there. So it's not that the stock has not run up. But I still think exchanges are a very, very good play to... Uh, you know, stay in India as a capital market is going to grow and the commodity size is seeing huge amount of volumes and hedges both on those sides. So I think the business model has undergone a sea change, like you said, from last year. I would continue to stay hold with this. If you have a one-year view, I don't think you should be able to, you should want to sell this because this is, the business is very, very clear. And I, I think this IEX will be a very, very strong play over the next one, two years. So if you have a one, two year view, I think 5,000 on this will not be far fetched. The second one, Polycap, a lot of queries, 300 shares. It's a query from Mr. SM Reddy from Hyderabad. He bought 300 shares of Polycap at 5,000. He's losing about 100 rupees approximately. But since our first year view, and then I'll talk about the news part. Polycap, independently of what's happening, at 4,000 rupees, is it a buy, sell or a hold? Well, I would say to hold because you've got, uh, you've got un unwarranted into this new slow, which has been negative and extremely negative because remember, these stocks become overwhelmed by FIs and institutions. And when they run up, there is no tomorrow. And when they fall, then, you know, everyone is for the exit door. Uh, I am not going to be able to comment so much on the new slow because the company has denied and the IT authorities. The business underlying is extremely good. But at a market cap of almost 60,000 crore, the stock is not cheap. So when you hear these type of news, obviously there will be knee-jerk reaction. The underlying theme remains that uh, the, the business which they are in is extremely good. So I would say hold, do not add till you get more clarity from the management, more clarity on the, uh, you know, clearness of the data, which is, uh, you know, both sides. And, and uh, once the negativity goes, I think it will all be dependent on earnings, which could be the next... Uh, catalyst both on the up or the downside in the next week 10 days and i, I fully endorse sir, you know mr reddy what basin saab has to say look the short term function of polycap would be a function of the news depending on how the news moves and that is something which is conjecture so you'll have to perhaps the news development in a sense becomes the near term trigger so next 10 percent move in polycap could be a pure function of news but at 5000 rupees the stock had become very stretched in terms of market cap and P multiple. It had gone to a P multiple of 70 times and normally these businesses don't last at P multiple of 70 times. Now assuming that they come on the right side of the news, then the stock in a sense I think will still take some more time to re regain its previous levels. Why? Because once that entire halo effect goes over, the right P multiple will be a function of earnings. The sector is in a great uh, shape. Polycab is thing is a great brand. They've managed to gain market share. So they're doing all the right things in terms of at the progress and things are incrementally moving for them. So if you add all those things put together, I think it's a great business. It's just that the news and the price is something which would be very difficult to call in the near term. But that's it on this show uh, with me, Nikunj Dalmia on Tracking Trends. Thank you for tuning in. Up next, closing trades and we'll capture the last 60 minutes of trade.